Ladies and gentlemen, before the podium, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's M1A1 Abrams Tank. This is the third generation, the main battle tank produced in the United States. The M1A1 is named after General Crichton Adams, the former Army Chief of Staff. It's a well-armed, heavily armored, highly mobile tank designed for modern armored ground warfare. Notably, it uses a powerful gas turbine engine. It's adopted sophisticated composite armor as its protection. It has separate ammunition storage and a blowout compartment for crew safety. It's one of the heaviest tanks in service weighing close to 62 metric tons. Approaching now, ladies and gentlemen, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's M2A2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The M2A2 ODS, better known as the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. This is designed to transport infantry with armor protection, providing cover fire. The M2A2 you see before you holds a crew of three, a commander, a gunner, a driver, full of ammunition and six fully equipped soldiers. Their primary arm armament is a 25 millimeter cannon firing up to 200 rounds a minute, accurate up to 25 hundred meters. And continuing the tradition of heavy artillery, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's M109 Field Artillery Howitzer, the Paladin. This was first introduced in the early 1960s, upgraded a number of times, most recently to the M109A7. The one M109 family is the most common Western indirect fire support weapon of maneuvers and infantry divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's M992 Field Artillery Carrier, the CAT. This is an ammunition supply vehicle built on the chassis of the 109 series howitzer. It's colloquially referred to as a CAT, referring to its nomenclature, CAT Carry Ammunition Tracked. This is the vehicle that replaced the M548 supply vehicle. Unlike the M548, this one is armored. Ladies and gentlemen, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's M88A2 Hercules Recovery Vehicle. This is a 63-ton armored track vehicle developed to recover the M1 Abrams tank. The thing on the back there is a crane that has literally a 31.8-ton lift capacity used to conduct maintenance on the Abrams tank. This is the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's Max Pro Mine Resistant Utility Vehicle. The Max Pro Mine Resistant Utility Vehicle, the latest in armory technology. This vehicle can withstand ballist ballistic fire, mine blasts, improvised explosive devices, nuclear, biological, and chemical environments, literally. A two-man crew, four to six passengers, and a gunner. And approaching the podium, the 11th Army Cavalry Regiment's mine-resistant armored protection, the MRAP. Overhead, the North American A6s from Riverside and Torrance Airport. Planes overhead being piloted by Chris LaFay, Brad Lang, John Colliver. 
This lightweight vehicle can reach speeds of up to 65 miles an hour, if you can believe that, carrying a payload of 4,000 pounds, on-road, off-road, the best in capability, Transver transversing mountainous terrain with ease. Folks, the vehicle approaching is a U.S. Marine Expeditionary Force Humvee. This is a Marine Corps High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle, or Humvee. Introduced to the Marine Corps in 1984, with extensive upgrades since then. This most recent version features armored survivability kits, enabling these Humvees to better protect the Marines against roadside bombs. A turret mounted crew, a weapon from the M249 squad automatic weapons to wire guided anti tank missiles. And this next vehicle is the U.S. Marine Corps 1st Marine Division M777 Howitzer. The Howitzer you see trailed there. It's a towed 155 millimeter artillery piece. This M777 is the successor to the M198 howitzer, weighing over 9,000 pounds. That barrel you're looking at is a 200-inch barrel, firing up to five rounds a minute. The M777 can be combined with the Excalibur GPS-guided munitions, allowing accurate fire at a range of up to 25 miles. 25 miles accurate fire. <laughs> 